Hey everybody, Mr. Traveler here. I hope that everybody is having a fantastic Monday. Guys, I saw some interesting news over the weekend. You know, we welcomed in, they had the big watch party for the Icon of the Seas coming in last week. Uh, but I saw some interesting news over the weekend that was talking about, are there enough lifeboats for the passenger and crew aboard the Icon of the Seas? So let's talk about it and get a little educated along the way right after this. All right, everybody, so let's talk about it a little bit here with the Icon of the Seas. Uh, let's start by doing a little bit of math. So if this ship was fully occupied, I mean every triple and quadruple occupancy cabin was filled up on this ship, it can hold a max of 7,600 guests. Uh, combine that with the 2,350 crew brings us in at a grand total of 9,950 guests on board this ship. Um, let's start there. I'm gonna put a caveat there. I highly doubt that this cruise ship would ever even get remotely close to that number to start with. I'm sure the cruise line doesn't really wanna flirt with disaster by putting that many people on a cruise ship. Will it go over the, the normal capacity with, on this ship, which is 5,610 people? That's based on double occupancy in all the cabins. Yes, it will, because there'll be cabins. If the full ship is fully sold out, there could be cabins with triples and quads that are on there. So it definitely could go above that 5,610 mark. But to actually get up to that 7,600 mark, I, I highly doubt that it would ever get there. So let's start with that. The normal double occupancy on here is 5,610 guests. All right, so now we go to the uh, to the lifeboats. So on this ship, it has 17 lifeboats that hold 450 guests each, uh, bringing us in at a total capacity of 7,650. So um, if we were at full capacity, definitely not enough lifeboats for the entire uh, guests and crew. Um, and if we were at the max capacity with double occupancy, um, it would be very close to being uh, not enough for, for everybody. But um, not having enough lifeboats on board the ships is done by design. Maritime law uh, states that you have to have at least enough lifeboats for 75% of the people on board the ship. Um, so that's what they kind of strive for. It has to be per side. So it's like 37 and a half per side. Um, you can only fit so many of those huge lifeboats on board the ship without them becoming obstructions or getting uh, of the view or getting in the way of other functionality of the ships. And the ships have done a really great design um, of tucking in those lifeboats into places where they just don't become intrusive to your cruising experience, but at the same time being there. God forbid something should happen. Um, so what's the answer? The answer is cruise lines have uh, the system called the MES system, Marine Evacuation System. So it's a series of basically life rafts that are also on board the ship that are designed to take passengers as well. Um, so here's an example of, of the one that's gonna be on the icon of the seas here. Um, but now here's the thing, I don't want you just to think um, that this is a unique thing to Icon of the Seas because it's not, it will go through that. But I also want you to know that typically uh, what the cruise line is going to strive to do is put the passengers, uh, the paying passengers on board the regular lifeboats first. That's why they make us go to the mustard drills, right? And show us where the lifeboats are or where to come in the case of an emergency because their full uh, emergency evacuation intent is to put us on board those lifeboats and save the MES equipment for the crew um, so that there's enough to go around for everybody. And now, you know, keep in mind also that in 1974, there was a marine law that was passed, the SOLAS uh, law, which states that any vessel, regardless of size, has to be able to be evacuated within 30 minutes. So all these ships, even this icon, as big as it is, it has to prove that it can evacuate all those guests off that ship within that 30 minute time frame. So uh, 
there's a lot of ships out there that don't have enough life rafts enough for everybody on board. Uh, Oasis of the Seas, same kind of deal. Uh, maximum capacity on board the ship with staff and with uh, crew and guests, 8,880 uh, guests. The lifeboats on board this vessel will hold 6,100 people. Uh, Mardi Gras has 16 lifeboats. They can hold 7,392 guests. But the maximum occupancy on here with crew and guests is 8,366 guests. So I'm just letting you know that this is not uh, just an I kind of seize thing because it's the biggest ship in the world and you know uh, they're not gonna have room to get people off here. No, this is uh, a standard practice, especially for the newer vessels that are being built. They're doing a great job of tucking in and hiding the lifeboats while sticking to the rules that they have to stick to for our safety. And they have these additional marine evacuation systems that are available on all the ships. Uh, and those are primarily dedicated for the crew that are on board the ship. So they'll make sure that we get off, uh, off safely first, and then the crew will hop on and get on their MES system and get on board, get off board as well. And everybody has to be off of that ship within 30 minutes, guests and crew. So this is done by design. No need to panic or worry. I know some people, uh, uh, you know, get a little antsy getting on the water, getting away from shore and getting out on the ocean. Um, these vessels are so safe at sea now. These captains do such a great job of avoiding uh, dangerous situations, or weather or whatever else is going on in the world at the time. And uh, they have the systems in place to make sure that we are safe. God forbid something very serious would happen out at sea. The lifeboats are there, the marine evacuation systems are there on all these ships that are more than enough to cover the crew and guests. And I'm quite sure if need be, uh, guests would go on these MES systems as well. You know, if somebody got left behind or whatever, yeah, who knows? Um, I mean, we've did some of the math on here and some of the, uh, if at maximum, maximum, maximum capacity, there's still not enough light boats for everybody. They could potentially put guests in these MES as well. But again, highly doubtful that the cruise lines are gonna take their cruise ships to that fully maximum capacity. Their goal is to obviously fill up the ships, but they wanna fill them up in a safe manner as well. All right, everybody, so thank you so much for tuning in. I want you to feel safe when you're out there on the seas, especially on that big, beautiful icon. We can't wait to get on border next month. Um, we're gonna thank you so much for watching. If we can help you book your dream vacation, give us a call at 877-697-4470 or book online www.mr-travel.com. Look forward to seeing you again, guys. Life short, have fun, see the world. Bye, everybody.